So letter G, learn how to change your lead generation button links to go to your proper pages. Here's what I mean by that. Okay, so let's say we have right here, what will my home really sell for today, right? Well, when I click on this right now, this page goes to a static page. And this is the old school way. I think after now watching all these tutorials and, and following along, you're convinced that this is not the proper way to do this. So now the question is, how the heck do you change your links here? And even on your home page, how do you change your links so that when someone clicks on what will my home really sell for, you want them to go to the category that we created called how to price your home because that's what it's pretty much about. So here's what you have to do. In your admin panel, let's get out of the old boxes. In your admin panel, you have a section under appearance called edit Tizish lead gen buttons. What you have to do is click on this button here. And now you have these options. Uh, and by the way, I have a whole separate video tutorial on this. I'm not, I'm not going to explain this whole section on this one. Watch the separate video tutorial. This is simply to show you how easy this is to do. So the whole point is this section of your lead, change your lead generation buttons lets you change any of the buttons on your site from your home page to your inner pages to even the ones after your blog posting. So any of these buttons, any of these, and then even if I click on a blog posting, after the blog posting, you'll notice that there's two that there's two buttons on your site you could change those as well but um, here's the whole idea let's say what we're trying to do is we're trying to change our page remember we're trying to change our website to now go to our, our actual concierge pages right so if you have a concierge page now for the what will my home really sell for instead of going to the individual page here's what you need to do this is the home page remember we got to find our home page. So I see here, home page lead capture buttons. And I, I tell you exactly what they are. Top right button. I tell you the default is home search. So that means it's this one by default. Default city search. And that's the top right bottom button. City search. So what we got to do is find the one we want to change. Here it is. Home page, three button row, middle button. Default what my home really sell for. As you can tell, that's here. Home page, default row. Well, here's the thing. You have to enter three variables for this. The link you want this this new button to now point to, the image URL that you want to still use, meaning what what image banner is going to reflect it, and then last the mouse over text. Here's what mouse over text means. When I hover over it, see that button that that button or the text demo beach home values. When I hover over that, view the demo beach deal of the month. You have to choose all those three. So here's the first thing we need to do: choose the link URL. What will my home really sell for? Right. So instead of going to the, this page, we wanted to go to our category, remember? So what was the category we wanted this to go to? We wanted this to go to the category called how to price your home. So what you got to do is find your category, however you could do it. Find your category and the whole thing you got to do now is at the top of the category, just take the URL, right click, put copy, and now go back to your admin panel and where it says link URL for the button you're trying to change, you're going to put paste. And now for image URL, this if you have the same image, meaning you only have one image, right? You only have um, the, the default image built with your system. You don't need to go create your new ones. All you do is the following. Right click, put copy image URL or, or whatever it is on your browser. If you're using Internet Explorer, I'll show you how to do that in one second. And now after that image URL, you're going to paste it here and that's it and don't touch anything else. Now mouse over text, here's the key thing. What is the button saying? Remember by default the button when I hover over it says your city name, demo beach, home values. So what you'd want to do is choose use your keyword, your main city keywords in this. So if demo beach is the same keywords, I would type in demo beach um, or how to, oh yeah, how to price your demo beach home. That'd be the keywords now. So now when I scroll down and I hit update. Now I'm going to show you the old thing and then the new thing. Now it's updated. So it says save. So now here was the old site. When I click here, watch what it opens. It opens our old home value page. Uh, the boring, the one that won't convert, the one that isn't as good for today's new internet marketing world. Now let's go back to our home page. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing now. I'm going to click on the same button. But now that we resaved it, when I click on this, watch where it takes me it's going to now take me to the category of how to price your home. 
and now look at how much better this is when I click on what will my home really sell for when I land on a page like this about how to price your home and it has good concierge information that, and it's like laser focus where you tell me things and when I click on here I'm seeing postings about no your upgraded kitchen doesn't make your home that much the number one mistake and I see this instead of being offered a home value request form I'm like oh this is interesting this is about information so I click on the number one mistake sellers make all the time and I, and I click that link and I'm like hey this is interesting stuff and now when I click here and I'm like wow now I'm gonna request a home value report because now I'm actually interested because maybe this blog posting could br briefly touch on it on this subject and then it could say for more information request a free home value report this is way better lead capture and now on top of that I'm now in your seller concierge section because now I see I could go back to sellers or I could go back to how you market uh, price trends because maybe now I'm curious in price trends so the whole point is now you got me hooked by properly getting your lead buttons changed to a concierge page so you see that's how you change them now keep in mind you're gonna have to do the same thing for the deal of the month page you know make it go to your category make your good or bad market go to your category and everything and just to make it easy for you guys um, here's a key thing I just thought of this as I was saying this on all of your websites at the very very bottom of the site you have a link called sitemap click on the sitemap button because this will give you the links directly All right. So you see here how it shows all your page links, then it shows your categories. This would be the easy way for you to find the category URLs because you could just click on a category. You could either right click and put copy link as, or you could just click into the category like we did here, let's say on how's the market, and then you could take the category from the, the you could take the URL from the top because you do need the URL box here. All right. Now also keep in mind if you're changing your what will my home really sell for page, you got to change it on your home page. You gotta change it on your on your home page as we just did on the example here. You gotta change it on your home page. You gotta change it on the blog postings in your inner page in two places. Number one, across the top here, what will my home really sell for? And then number or that's number two. And number three, at the end of the blog postings on what is my home worth. Change all those. And again, those are found here in the admin panel. Remember, and you gotta do all three of them, but I just tell you exactly. Inner page lead capture buttons, inner page left button, default default so I define exactly then after blog post left button after blog post right button so just change them here alright and do everything I said one thing I wanted to show you was on Internet Explorer because I know a lot of you still use Internet Explorer um, if you want to find the the image URL Internet Explorer is different what you have to do is the following so I open up Internet Explorer and here's here's the image right remember how we're talking about needing to find the image URL for any of the buttons well what you gotta do is the following right click on the button and go to properties if you're using Internet Explorer and when this box comes up you'll see right here address URL this is your image URL for Internet Explorer users alright it may be too long but other, well, let's see just copy it and let's just find out either way it's right there so you gotta just get that whole code alright so that's everything for using Internet Explorer. And uh, now we're ready to move on to our next steps. Okay, so now our next step, we just now learn how to, or we learn how to do number G, how to change your lead generation button links to go to your proper pages. And so we just a oh, quick two second recap. The whole purpose of that is so that these main banners, they go to our concierge pages, not so much your single lead capture page that is just static and doesn't add anything you need to change these links to go to your concierge pages and uh, by default these will change as well when you change those alright oh actually no they won't I'm gonna cover that shortly so now let's go to the next one and this is actually the final step and we are done fully with the concierge pages and then we'll talk about the last steps